Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got here to Resort Gorgeous on Five Island. In this episode, I'm just going to go ahead and I guess we're just going to continue our adventure, for lack of a better term. This here is Selfie's house. Now, oh, okay, that's trainer. Most of the trainers here, um, well, I think all the pe all the girls on here are trainers. But the cool thing about these trainers here is the fact that they are they are loaded. Like I. Like, just give me an example. Okay, this girl here, all she has is a Smeargle. And oh, that could have been close. Dynamic punch, really powerful fighting type move. It has 50% accuracy, but when it hits, it does a ton of damage and always confuses if you live through it. It's focus punch right there, another really powerful move. But anyway, uh, everybody here is freaking loaded. If you ever need money, just oh oh, she only gives you 800, of course. But here, let me go battle someone else as an example. This lady right here gives you 9,800 Poké Dollars. That right there can buy you a Protein, a Carbos, an HP up, anything of that sort. Which is pretty cool, I have to admit. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than, uh, well, that 800 that we got from that cheapskate. Starving artist, I suppose. But anyway, uh, yeah, any of the ladies that you find around this area in Resort Gorgeous, they are freaking loaded and they just give you tons of money. Now, if you go into this house right here, this house belongs to a girl named Selfie, and believe me, she has that name for a reason, but you'll find that it's empty. Does that mean Selfie is a ghost? No, it means that Selfie is a dumb blonde and she got lost in a cave over here, so we have to go find her. And... Nicely best him, thank you. And here we go! Welcome to the Lost Cave! This is somewhat of a confusing dungeon. It's really weird though, but there's two new Pokemon you can find here. These being Murkrow, which is exclusive to Fire Red. Murkrow is not really anything special. It's got really bad stats, it doesn't have very good moves. It's just another Pokemon for collectors. It's really not really much of anything special. It does get an evolution in another generation though, but that's in another generation, so for now, skip it. Then for Leaf Green users, we have Mistrevious. Mistrevious is actually not too bad of a Pokemon. Its stats are average at best, though, but it learns some really good moves, like you got Parish Song and Shadow Ball. Plus, at the time of its uh, of it being added to the uh, roster of Pokemon, it was the only pure Ghost type. That's not true now anymore, though. But you know, it's a pretty unique Pokemon. You can do a lot of cool tactical things with it. You know, Mean Lick, Parish Song. You know, it's got some pretty good strategies up its up its uh, sleeve, I guess you could say, even if it doesn't have arms. All right, now that we're done with that, uh, what's this guy got to say? Hey, that is an ancient room, but it's teeming with ghosts. Okay. Maybe you're just a wimp. Now that we're done with that little wimp that screams like a girl, aka someone who sounds a lot like me when I get excited, uh, you're gonna see that there's different rocks in these areas, I guess you could say. Now, what you gotta do is, there's three rocks, go to the three o'clock, it's like an o'clock, okay? It's like three o'clock being right, twelve o'clock being up, you know, six o'clock being down, etc, etc. Let's see here. And I think that's up. This is down. You sometimes have to go back in the same way that you came. Uh, let's see here. Six. Three. There are some items hidden throughout here, though, but... Let's see here. I'll go ahead and list them in the sidebar right now. And I love this hoe. You know, you have to, like, sit here and, like, wait for me to count because I am an idiot. I'm not really an idiot, though, but just... It's difficult to talk and count at the same time, and wow, I just sounded like a little kid. Um, it's hard, Bobby! I can't count and talk at the same time! And who is this nice, lovely lady? Well, what do you intend to do with me? Ooh, that leaves the door open for a lot of stuff. Better beat her in a Pokemon battle so that we can do those things that she wants us to do to her. Well, it, that we intend to do to her. She totally wants it! Yeah. So, you have a Persian, I see. I got a Persian of my own. Does that mean that you have a... No, 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 I shouldn't. I really just need to stop it here. Okay, so Meow Mix. Oh, you have two Persians. Is that... Yeah, that means you have two... No. I I've stopped myself from making the same joke twice now. I am not going to make third time the charm here. You people already know what I'm going to say anyway. Uh, great torment. Now I have to use another attack. 
Uh, use bite, just because I don't have anything else I can do. So, I bit you a put. Okay, I actually was about to say it there. Oh, you should not have a full restore! You should not have a full restore. You're not even a gym leader or any crap like that. I can't eat the same meat twice in a row thanks to this tournament. Shut up. Oh, critical hit! Yeah, now I got a critical hit. I actually full restored ones. Wow, Persia's been saying a lot of action. I was afraid you meant to harm. What? Oh, come on! Hero, you screwed that up. I can't say here. So glad you happened to be here. We're walking out from the I guess take you home from here. Okay, fine. Thank you. You may go now. What? Oh, do I need somewhere? That doesn't matter. Explicitly bored. Place your wish wish to see a Pokemon. Darling to the widow. No, you have a wish come true. By bringing your Pokemon like that, she will hesitantly give you various rewards. That's really all this side quest is good for. Just getting various... Uh, just getting various rewards by doing stuff like that. Now for the uh, next area we can go here on Five Island is the uh, Memorial Pillar, which is to the south of the warehouse, actually. Well, more to the east, though. Oh, this is the Bird Brothers. Okay, so basically you mean you're an old fart who likes birds. Yeah, that doesn't sound weird. Okay, let's just go ahead and just totally destroy his bird-type Pokémon. Noob say. Actually, actually, a fun little thing about bird type is that there is actually an unused type in the game's code in both generations one and two, uh, called bird type. And it also exists in the Japanese version, though, so it wasn't a mistranslation or anything like that. I guess it could be that they were just trying to, uh, I don't know, maybe they were trying to like separate them from being, you know, just birds and flying. And oh, you switched that. Come on. Oh, so oh wait, no, never mind. I don't have a slave with me anymore. I was actually kind of hoping that it would bring slave out, and slave would die a horrible times four weakness death to a Pidgeotto that's like eighty thousand levels higher than it. <laughs> Just because we're mean to slave that much, though, I don't, I don't think I have my HM slave with me anymore. Oh, snarp! Did you say oh, snarp? Snarf! Get a raspberry right there. Yeah, we're not making bad Nintendo puns at all. I just had to run. Middle kid of the Bird Brothers. Was thinking about birds. It has wings. Thing. And we got a citrus berry right here. Not bad. Citrus berry. And then over here, I think you can get a block berry. And I, you're the youngest. It has to be the down. The hell does he mean by that? It has to be the down. That's not even a grammatically correct sentence. I don't know, maybe he's... Maybe just like his Pokemon, he's a freaking Night Owl and he doesn't get out enough. Speaking of, don't you just hate that feeling? The worst feeling in the world. Well, not really worst in the world. One of the most annoying feelings ever. When you had so much homework over the weekend, you never got to go outside once all weekend when there was when the sun was out. You always had to go... Anytime you ever got to go out all weekend, it was like... The, it was already nighttime because you had so much homework to do during the day. And then on Monday morning, you go to school or college or whatever, and because it's the first time your eyes have seen sunlight in like three days, it hurts like the dickens. God, I hate that feeling. That's what happened last week, and all day, like on Saturday and Sunday, I was just doing homework all day, and the only times I got to go outside was when it was already nighttime, though, so I hadn't seen sunlight in like three days, and eh, I'll just quit whining about having no life, but whatever. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I do have a life, but... Uh, why can't all these trainers just go and die? I don't... Metal coat. Ooh, metal coat. Don't you just agree with me? All these trainers and their Pokemon just go die. So, that. Hello, your Pokemon look healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It was named Tectonix. Oh. Bad taste to say something like that around this guy. I actually... Honestly, truthfully, in the commentary of this, I actually didn't even think of that. I actually kind of forgot about... Anyway, though, you can go ahead and get a metal coat right here, which is the item that can be used to evolve an onyx. Which is actually kind of sad that he discarded it. Uh, this guy just scrubs his memorial pillar right here. For a while, I didn't think this place had any purpose. But it actually does. If you go to sell it on department store and buy yourself a lemonade, after going all the way back there and encountering many, many hardships... I'm not tall enough to reach the phone! And you go ahead and have it lemonade in your inventory. 
And you have... Then you go ahead and place there as an offering by the grave. Th thank you. That was my Tectonics' favorite drink. I don't even know... I don't even know you, but your act of kindness... It's uplifted me a little. Can you pl please take this as my thanks? TM42. Alright. Be good to your Pokemon, too. And he'll just stay here at this pillar, scrubbing the uh, memorial pillar for his dead onyx uh, pretty much forever. I have to admit, it is actually kind of one of the sadder moments in a Pokemon game, and I'm actually really surprised that they referenced Pokemon dying, because they hadn't done that since Generation 2. I mean, uh, since uh, Gold and Silver. They kind of just didn't really do it in Ruby and Sapphire. Well, actually, wait. Yeah, they did. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about, though, but it never was really that personal, is what I'm trying to say. But uh, anyway, uh, we finished up Five Island. We've already explored everything there is to explore in Five Island, though, so I think in the next episode we're going to go ahead and take off towards Six Island, okay? So, next time Pokemon Fire Red, we'll do just that. See you guys then.